The economic downturn has hit everyone. Here to tell us about her experiences, which led to the new book, Lipstick Laptop's Life, The Rise and Fall and Rise Again of a Modern Day Businesswoman, please welcome entrepreneur and author, Angela Omara. Thanks for coming by, Angela. Thank you so much, Chelsea, for having me here. This show is so exciting. Oh, thank you. Well, we're really excited to have you here. This is a fantastic title for a book. What prompted you to write Lipstick Laptop's Life? Well, you know, we've all kind of suffered through the last 12 or more months of the economic breakdown here in this country and around the world. And I found myself, and I've had a business for over 20 years in the PR world, and I found myself, what I would only say, was kind of at the helm of a sinking ship, almost. Um, and then I just thought, well, I really need to make some changes, review what I'm doing, think of new promotions I can do to build my business. And I began to just diary everything that I was doing and write down my accomplishments, my ideas. So it started with the journal. And it started with the journal and it was a diary. And then all of a sudden it was, wow, I could write a book with this. And so I did. Just from what you were sort of experiencing and going through during that time? Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. And it really made me reflect back on things in my life, my childhood that kind of made me the person I am today. Well, speaking of which, you actually, I heard you moved to America with just $200. Is yes. that true? It's true, it's true. And it sounds crazy, I mean, because you can't even buy a pair of shoes for $200 <laughs> now. But. Well, it's gutsy. That's it's, definitely yeah, what it yeah. is. But it was a long time ago. It was over it was 30 years ago, 1980. I was 19. And I came out originally to work upstate New York working with children. And then it was a summer job, I was going to go home, and so I had enough money to last me. Made a little bit of money over the summer, and then traveled to Paradise, which is here in California. Aww, I stayed. I think so too. Yes, <laughs> yeah, and the rest is history. Oh my, and then years later came the economic downturn, which hit you like it hit everybody else. Yes, yes. It was kind of a big blow. So now, how did you bring your company back to the top? Because you did that successfully. Well, yes, I did. And you know really what it was, was I realized. Um, you know, I really had to sit back and assess just what I was doing, what were my strengths, what were my weaknesses, mm -hmm. what could I do, how could I embrace new technology, new media, new promotions, um, and, and, and also use older, you know, reaching out to people, relationship building, and that's really kind of all what I documented in the book. So you just started to dig deep and sort of figure out how can I change this, how can I make this work? Exactly. exactly. And, and so tell us about what makes a successful modern day businesswoman, what you found after journaling and researching. Yeah, well, what I really found was, in, in myself anyway, is there are seven modern day, what I call the seven modern day business archetypes in women. And they are all parts, essential parts and intimate parts of men and women that I found I had lost along the way. Oh, really? And it's everything from intuition, just trust, trusting in yourself, trusting in other people, um, current reality, you know, looking at what's true, what's not, um, how do you access certain things, and that is what really helped me then write the book, because I had, as I had documented in my diary, then I could assign these characters, these modern day business archetypes, into these different characters. So you just realized that these were things that you had within yourself exactly. but had lost. So what are some of the great tips for women out there, not only struggling entrepreneurs, but anyone who is dealing with the tough times due to the economy right now? Well, as I, in, the, in the book I talk about the seven different business archetypes and the first three are the gold miner, the clairvoyant and the realist. And the gold miner is the person in all of us who knows where that shining light inside of you is and how you can access it and reach it to rediscover yourself. So the positiveness. So the positiveness and um, really look into what is it I want to create? What, what makes me happy? Where's the joy in my life? Uh, and then from there it's okay, well now you've found your joy, how do you look to the future? What can you create for the future? And then the third character is the realist, which is my least favorite, and I think everybody's, because <laughs> she's the one who's like, honey, you have no money. Honey, the sky's falling down. Honey, you've got to get real. It's great to have dreams, but these might but not the, be yeah, attainable. But these might not be the time, and so you have to allow her in to show you where you are and what obstacles you need to overcome. Oh. And, and so those are my three tips right there, is, 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 is looking deep within, finding your vision, and looking at where everything lies so you can move forward successfully. And just being realistic just with be, yourself. And all yeah. of that is right here in it's this all book. Right there in the book. Yes. Oh, great. Yes. I'm dying to read it. Thank you so much for coming oh, by, thank Angela. Thank you so much for having me. All it's right. Been a pleasure. Well, yes, definitely. Now yeah. over to Mark and Carla.